Hello, I'm Jason Nerd, and a few years back, for a year or so, I worked at a car bookstore. Nerd! Yes, I worked at a car bookstore, and one of our biggest products we were selling was pop vinyls. Understand, when I was working there, pop vinyls were new, they hit their peak at the very least, they were, they were the sort after pop culture gift. This meant we had an entire wall near enough dedicated to these figurines. And I was proud of this because I would spend an hour, maybe two, sorting them out, making sure they were in order of franchises, making sure that all the variances were next to each other, that they were clearly displayed. And for the next part, you will need to know this fact. You can get chase variants of pop finals. Essentially, they are slight different versions of the regular pop vinyls, for example, Age of Ultron and his chase version of him smiling, which, you know, it's a collector's item. People want these variances, and that's fair enough. As such, I would always put these chase variances at the front of their respective displays, and these are one of the reasons I really did not like pop, did not like pop, 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 pop. And this is one of the reasons I really did not like pop vinyls when they were new. They would look behind every single box. They would move everything about. Oh, what's that? Star Wars Next to Game of Thrones. Of course it is. And it was... It was a terrible mess because there'd be pop vinyls all over the floor. And I mean literally all over the floor. And customers would have to walk around these pop vinyls until someone actually tells us, Oh, wait. Pop vials on the floor. Well, a few times where I see people literally digging through the entire display, and I would ask them if they're looking for anything particular, and it often come down to, well, I'm just looking. Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, have you got the chase variants for this one? No, we don't have the chase for that one. It would be on the front display if we had it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain. How do you be sure? Are you sure? Are you sure it's not behind these displays or in the back room? Yes, I'm certain because I spent two hours putting together this display this morning, which I'm going to have now do again. If there's anything particular before, please feel free to ask a staff member before looking through and destroying our displays. Oh, sorry. We don't want anything I need, so I'm going to go. Leaving a mess everywhere. Ugh. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed working at the comic book store. Just, you know, every job has its problems and this one just so happened to be customers who like to destroy displays that take hours to assemble. Of course, later in life I developed an actual like for pop models and then a love and I have the collection I have now and you know what? I still stand by the fact that I like them. It's obviously there is a certain number of issues with them for the retailers. But hey, that's my story of pop vinyls. I do have another video which you can find on my channel. Go over there, subscribe, click the little bell so you can see notifications about my videos. Alongside that, why not check out my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Links of course are below and I have a question for you. Pop vinyls, do you keep them in the box or do you take them out? Until then, next time, bye. I'm getting better at ending videos, I think. Let's see how it looks in editing. Bye.